Hello YouTube. I'm going to do a quick video on programming the Yaesu FT2900. I'll be showing you how to program simplex and a repeater. But before I begin, I want to go over some of the highlights of this radio. First, it has 75 watts of power. To my knowledge, there is no other 2 meter or 440 radio that has this amount of power without the assistance of an amplifier. There's four power settings, a 5, 10, 30, and 75. There's 201 channels, 200 or quote-unquote regular, and one home or instant recall channel. On top of that, there's also 10 NOAA weather channels. It also has an expanded receiver coverage of 136 to 174 megahertz. The first channel I'm going to program in is a simplex channel. I'm going to be using the national calling frequency of 146.520. First thing you want to do, obviously, is turn it on. Then you want to go over to the VFO mode, which you use the memory recall button. Once you're in there, you can either use the knob to tune back and forth, but the quicker way is with the MH48 microphone that comes with the radio. Just input your frequency. Once the frequency has been input, you're going to press and hold the MWD slash MR button for about one second. You get a flashing number as I have here with the number six. That indicates that the memory is vacant. You only get about five seconds to make your choice. If the memory is occupied, such as five, it's solid. I'm going to overwrite one by putting it on the two. Press and hold. It's entered. And then press again to put yourself back into memory recall. And that's all there is to it for programming a simplex channel. Now I'm going to show you how to program a repeater into the radio. First thing you want to do is again go to the VFO mode and pick your frequency. In this case I'm going to use 147060. Once you have your frequency set, you're going to press and hold the set megahertz button for one second. This brings you into the menu mode. You need to go to menu item number 49, which allows you to pick your squelch type press it, go to tone, and press and hold for one second. This takes you back to your frequency. Once you're there, now you're going to need to choose your PL tone. So you're going to again press and hold for one second the set megahertz button. Now you're going to go to menu item 52. Then press the set button again. Now choose your PL tone. In this case, I need 100. You can go up or down depending on which tone you need. Once you're in there, you have it, press and hold for one second. Now you're going to want to place it into a memory section. Press and hold the MWD slash MR button for one second. And again, you have the blinking number, which indicates a vacant memory slot. Again, if it's solid, that means it's filled. In this case, I'm going to use number 13. I'm going to press and hold. And then press one more time. And you're in. Now with this radio, you can also do alpha tags. I'm going to show you how to do one of those. Right now the max number you can use is six slots. So you bring up the channel you wish to label, in this case channel 13. Then you're going to press and hold the set megahertz button for one second. That again brings you into the menu section. Now we're going to dial down to menu 30, which is name set. Once you're there, press the set megahertz button again so that you can start installing your entering your letters and numbers. The name of this repeater is MESAC. 
And once you're there, to advance to the next one, use the A in to go forward or the DW button to go backwards. Again, if I want to go backwards, I would just hit the DW button and then make my correction. Then once you have all of them done, you're going to press and hold the set memory and there you are. Now you've programmed your repeater and labeled it. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and it, as always I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. If you have not yet done so, I would encourage you to please subscribe. Thanks.